My people of this country and we're under attack. They banning us, they cancel us for speaking the facts. If you man enough, come stand with us, take USA back. And every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flags. the heck's going on everybody welcome to, <laughs> to big rig frosty gaming how the heck are you happy thursday and welcome to the show laddies how's everybody doing got kevin wilson pleasant view farm pleasant i thought of you today I, I you always show up at the very beginning of the stream so i made sure i had the uh the old gleaner uh rocking it for you there uh what's going on brother What's up, Sparky? Mia Lazzarin, Joe Boyer. We got Watchdog in the house. Uh, Zach Waters, Nick DeBar, Bart Terry. Uh, we also got Joe Boyer, so, yep, Tom McDonald, and Adam Calhoun. Awesome song. Uh, evening, everyone. I finally made it to a live stream. What's up, Midwest Farmer? We got Billy Dabalasio. Oh, I think I said that right. <clears throat> finally, a good looking combine. Oh, stop it. I think it's stuck. Wants to run into a tree or something. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Well, it's a very nice tractor. Very nice harvester. So I did activate that uh, that mod that does the bushels. So if you look at the bottom right of the screen, 
it's going to show you uh, it's going to show you bushels so so far we got 140 bushels of soybean harvested out of this field very nice very nice yeah I went and downloaded that tonight or last night after the stream I've been wanting to do that. Plus, it on liquids, it transfers things to uh, gallons, which is pretty stinking cool. So, yeah, we'll be uh, using that from now on. I kind of like the whole bushel, the bushel conversation. It's a little better than liters. Uh, finally, what's up, uh, Scooter's Workbench celebrating five months. So it's a much better combine than that green one. Well, the green one's still out there. The green one's still out there. I went ahead and purchased this with my own money. We're down to $6,600. So the international we used last night, that'll always be used for corn, sunflower. And then this harvester will do all our arable crops. You know, wheat, barley, oats, soybean. It'll do all those crops for us. Got it for a good deal. It's very affordable. I think I dropped like 30 grand for the harvester and the header. It's not too shabby. It's not shabby at all. And it holds close to 13,000 liters, which is like 5,000 more liters than uh, the International and the John Deere. So, yeah, this is a nice purchase. It'll be good for uh, getting things done on the farm. <clears throat> uh, how have I been? I've been good, Nick DeBar. How about yourself, brother? Hope life's treating you well. How many bushels does that combine hold? We're about to find out. Um, looks like it holds about 350, 360 bushels. That sound about right, uh, Pleasant View. Because we're at 55% and we got 190 bushels. Yeah. Yeah. But I got this uh, route set up to do two headlands and then back and forth. So, but yeah, we got all kinds of things to do tonight. We're going to be doing uh, finishing. This is actually the last field to harvest, I think. Yeah, I think this is the last field that we own that is harvest. The rest is going to be uh, animal care, doing some deliveries. I might drill one of the soybean fields with winter wheat or winter barley, just so we have a surplus of... Uh, barley or wheat because we do own the uh, grain mill which makes flour yeah you see doing all right working a lot working a lot did you buy that at pleasant view equipment sales i did i sure did sell that grain one to a salvage yard that's not mine that's farmer billy's scooty's workbench i can't touch far i can't sell farmer billy's equipment that's his choice but we own this one here that nice 330 header on there. It's got the Alice Chalmers logos on there. My goodness. The old Glaner. The old square shoebox. Getting her done. Uh, what do we got? Mandy McKinley coming in with the $5 super chat. Actually, that wasn't Mandy. That was Aubrey. Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. My kids... My daughter's doing fine. My son, he's, he's, he got a teacher this year that's pretty strict. Gives a lot of homework. Last year, he wasn't given a lot of homework. It, well, he was given homework, but there was time to get it done in school. So it didn't really bother, bother him that much. Well, this year, he's got a teacher that's a little more hardcore. And he's going to have a lot more homework. So he's kind of a little bummed out, a little grumpy today. I can tell he's... Yeah, not in the best mood, so... Yeah. I told him, like, every year you might have a different type of teacher. That's just how school goes. But, uh, yeah, he'll he'll figure it out. What's up, Adam Small? Glenn Maid says it holds 342 bushels. Ooh, Pleasant View said yes. So, yeah, about 350. We're at 75%. We got 260 bushels in there. I'm just going to let her fill up. So while that's almost uh, filled up, we're going to go get the chaser bin.
Good evening, Ryan Baltz. And hello, Adam Small. Ian W's in the house. Don Stokes, good evening. Good evening, Logan Goddard. Hello, hello. I like the international. I know, I do like that. The way it bounces around. The uh, Yes, that is pretty sweet. All right, so we'll fire up the case. I just, I think J, J yeah, J&M Farming. There he is. He literally just messaged uh, or left a comment on last night's video about where to get this tractor. This is by, <laughs> it's made by like three different modders. And I totally forget. I, I got the worst memory, but I, I did give him the link to it. Uh, if you don't mind telling people who the modders are for that, if you can, j and M, I just I have the worst memory ever. But yeah, it's an awesome tractor. Super detailed inside. It's uh, going to be one of my new favorites to use. I'll lock it. Lock it lock. All right, so the Gleaner's making his way over here. We're just going to kind of sit here till he's... He should... He might be full right now. Or maybe he's just turning around. Yeah, he's just setting up for the next... Uh... Yeah, we'll get turned around here. He's just a rolling, isn't he? We are, I, I have it set up to uh, stop when it unloads, so we're just going to wait till it's completely full. But she's about to hit the brakes here. Yeah, there he goes. All right, let's hop in and see how many bushels it's holding. So it's at 325 bushels. I have it set to uh, stop at 95%. It doesn't completely fill up. So 95% is 325 bushels of soybean in there. It's a lot of stinking soybean, eh? Goodness, laddie. I love that. Ah, I forgot. New, new harvester. Got to reset it in uh, course play. I always forget that. Uh, where do I, what do I need to look at? Combine settings. Stop while unloading activated. Okay. There we go. All right, now he's driving all the way to the other end to, uh, to do, uh, he's done with the headland, so. Dang it. All right, so we set him to stop now because we'll be doing other chores once we get him unloaded. Uh, Farmer John 21, Carl Farms. That's the one I was, I couldn't, ugh. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Farmer John, Carl Farms, and NEFG Modding. Thank you, sir. And those are the ones that uh, made this tractor here we're driving right now. Which is quite a lovely one, eh? The MX-285, or 280. It's got 285 horses. Right, so we'll just patiently follow until it's full. Uh, how's your headache tonight? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Thank you for asking. What's up, Bruce Salter, the Gleaner? You like the Gleaner? Glengar boy's in the house. Is what's the cracking there, laddie? Who's the cracking? Being all right. Wolf Shades in here. Jason Schistler, good evening. Brian Pelzinski. I uh, hope your week's going well. Love the harvester. Hey. Credits to uh, Pleasant View Valley Ranch Dressing Streaming Hillbilly Jack Wacker, Ohio Boy. Uh, Pleasant View Farms is the, the real name. Uh, yeah, he made that gleaner. I got to go make me another BLT. Got to make yourself a BLT. Come on. I need to fix my wheel. 
Ow, oh, I didn't even launch uh, G Hub. No wonder it's not working. I had a PC update and uh, forgot to reopen the program for the wheel. There we go. There we go. All right. But yeah, I love that. Watch the pipe. It goes over the shoulder style. Look at that. Like some pipes, they just move left to right from the side. But the old Gleaner goes like over the shoulder. Oh, it's very nice. Nice animation. And unloads super fast. Which means we can get right back to work a lot faster. So 325 bushels going into the uh, chaser bin, which puts us at 52%. There you go. Good stuff. All this soybean is pretty much storage until the price is right. And we're going to have lots of it. We, we harvested two fields last night. And uh, this will be our final field tonight of soybean. So lots of soybean for everyone. Good evening, Gene Edwards. Even got your Alice hat on. Yes, I do. I got an Alice hat on, Alice shirt. And I got an Alice hat on in real life. But look at my guy. He's got the Chalmers shirt, hat on. It's Alice night. All right, so with that all taken care of, I think we're gonna set up. Let's get the animals fed. We got the chickens are almost starving. I'll give you a little rundown of the animals real quick. Ham Handlin, what's going on? Jessica Cooley, what's going on, Jessica? Ronnie Gold's in the house. Uh, how I just read that. My bad. Uh, how do I get the key code of the Iron Man suit? A key code? I think you have to own the Horse Aggravation DLC to get the uh, Iron Man suit. I think. I, I don't know. But I own the Aggravation DLC, so I think that's why I have it. And I think it's, what, 10 bucks, chat? The DLC for the Aggro DLC? Uh the uh man i can't talk tonight when it, when can i talk i struggle every night what is that called horse horse aggravation all right chickens are look how look how uh look how low they're getting and look how many i have holy crap i got uh overcrowding activated so it's gonna sell off a ton of chickens when we fast forward time which is actually nice gives us a little extra chunk of money so I already preloaded the gator and the little trailers. So we got 107 bushels of wheat. I <laughs> uh, love it. All right, switch to the trailer. Come on. There it is. Very nice. how much uh, food that gave the old chickens. All right, so we'll get one more load, one trailer and gator load. One trailer and gator. The gator trailer combo. And then that'll be the chickens taken care of. Easy work. Ba -da 
but um Kevin Florence, how are you there, laddie? Is it free in season two? Yes. If you own the season two pass, I think yeah. Yeah, because I didn't purchase I didn't purchase purchase it uh, separately, so yes, it comes with it. Man, I got the stutters tonight. What the heck? You got a nice gator. I think this is on the mod hub. Anybody can get this. It's right off the mod hub there, daddy. I'm going through that wheat. Mm. load wheat and then there's a little bit of potatoes left in the silo I'm just going to clear it out and give it to the pigs don't hit the eggs And I topped off the horses last night after the stream. So they don't need any water. I might, if we have enough money, I might buy them a bag of uh, horse feed because we don't have any sorghum or oats. That'll get their base food percentage up. Back. All right, chickens are topped off. We got a little bit of leftovers. Desert Ox Farms. How's it going, Desert? Uh, bro, take your time with the daddy. Take my time with the daddy. Take my time with the daddy. Huh? It says it's unlocked, but it's asking for a key code. Huh. You shouldn't need a key code. But you're... I, yeah, I don't know. You shouldn't need a key code. I didn't, it didn't ask me for one. why I got wheat. So we'll give the pigs a load of wheat and then we'll give them the rest of the potatoes. the harvester's filled or not. I do want to keep an eye on that darn harvester. The sooner we get the soybean done, the better. Alright, let's load some potatoes. And that's the remaining of the potatoes. But I do think the harvester is probably almost full. Is that 86%? Doing a splendid job. Already pretty much full. Just kidding, you're a grown person. I cannot tell you what to say, so my apologies. I didn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if you're on console, I'd always ask for a key code. Oh, I always forget, Brian, you're on... You're on Xbox, yeah. So yeah, you probably do need to put in some type of code. Do they, do they send you emails maybe? Check your email for the code? I, I have no idea, buddy. I am not a console guy. Did that come with the Gleaner? Did what, the header? The header's separate. You'd have to talk to, uh, you'd have to talk to Pleasant View on the headers. I can't, I don't know if he has it on his itch.io or not. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. He sent them to me privately. <laughs> so I don't know, you know.
Dang. Do you, know, do you realize how many times we'd be piping out if we were using the other two harvesters? Look, look at this. We're almost done. Beautiful. The old gleaner is uh, coming in quite handy tonight. Did you get that link, says JNM? Uh, I don't know if the link's going to work. I just wanted you to tell him who the... Uh, the authors were. Yeah, I don't know if it'll let you put the actual link in the chat. But yeah, you can get it on uh, King Mods, and I'm sure most of those guys have an itch.io that you could look up. You send pri- I don't send private mods, but I accept private mods. By the way, Glengar Boy, um, Tell everybody what you guys put on the mod hub today. It's the, uh, I don't have it activated because it's more of a European, uh, feed mixer, but it got added to the, uh, mod hub today. What's that thing called? That green and white feed mixer? I'll probably use it on court farms or any other European, uh, map. It's very nice. I've used it on Valley Spring before, actually. It's a very fancy feed mixer. Jeremiah Marpole, hello. We got Midwest Farmer FS22 coming in as a brand new Jack Whacker. That's Midwest Farmer FS22. Thank you very much, brother, for becoming a brand new member and supporter of the channel. I do appreciate you. Thank you, buddy. Uh, David McCormick, hello, hello. Ooh, we're full. Or the truck's full. Right. So the truck holds 652 bushels, which is a lot. That's a lot of busheling. I just, I'm so glad I finally remembered and took care of that. <laughs> uh, there's the hay field last night that Elizabeth tethered. I wind rode it. It still needs finished up on the one side, but it's pretty much ready to... Uh, vacuum or bale. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to bale it or vacuum it. Because we already got 100,000 liters of hay in the feed mixer. So I'm thinking we might bale that field and sell it. Make a profit on some hay bales. Because we're kind of skimping on money. We got quite a bit of uh, leased equipment out. So we're going to take a big hit financially when we fast forward to the next month. So yeah, it might, uh, we might do some uh, round bales and load them up and sell them to the animal dealer. Oop, 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 oop. Forgot he was sitting there. Let's go get rid of these potatoes. What's up, Fang Parker? Just got done playing on No Creek Map, did ya? I've got it downloaded. I just have yet to look at it. It looks nice, but I've yet to try it. Oh, thank you, Stephen Alexander. I was uh, picking picking sticks and picking up stones and building a cabin today. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's switch to that. All right, so the pigs are topped off. That's why I can't get rid of those. But I'm going to leave them in there. For a rainy day. So let me show you the pigs. Chickens, we just topped them off. Pigs. Full capacity, 54,000 liters. Uh, they've got a good amount of base food. They've jumped up to 30% just from last night. We haven't fast forwarded time. They were at zero. So they got a little bit of everything they need now, which is spectacular. Only thing else we got to do is top off the cows. 
I want to get that milk out of there and delivered to our dairy production and then buy some uh, horse feed, a couple bags, and get these two horses topped off the food. Now they're not mine. Looking pretty good. Should be able to dump this right in here. Maybe not. Worth a shot. Uh, you would think FS22 could fix the texture of potatoes. You don't like that? <laughs> yeah, it's looking a little, uh, looking a little cut and pasted, huh? It'd be nice to have some actual clumpage to it. Actually look like some potatoes in there. Yeah, a little rough, huh? Man, Miss Frosty's looking at me like, you know how to back in a gator? I'm sorry. At least I'm not the one that, who's got like an invisible leg going into your shoe. So how you like that, Jack Whacker? All right. Let's go unload the uh, soybean. Very nice. Look at all that. Look, bottom right screen is showing you how much soybean we have in the silo. Two fields last night, and then this field tonight, we're probably going to have like close to 70,000 liters or something. Just dialed in. How you doing? I'm doing all right, Sean Roberts. Hello, Eli. Hello. I'm thinking about starting this thing on the weekends where I go write bad reviews of something random on another product's review. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what's up, Tony Martig? What's going on, buddy? Uh, Glengar, Glengar, what do you say? Heston Baylor should be released tomorrow. Ending passing console testing. Very nice. The, there it is, the Keenan. That's, I couldn't remember. It's the Keenan, li well, Lizard, but Keenan is the real name. The feed mixer, it's on the Mod Hub, just got released today from the Erie Agri team, the guys who made Bally Spring. Glengar is a part of that. And it's super detailed. Very good feed mixer. All right, gonna head back to the uh, soybean field. So, how'd you guys like that intro music? Come on, you like that? <laughs> Frosty, did you find the three-point hit sprayer I posted on Discord? Oh, the side one? You you said who it was by, I forget. I'll show you the one I have. Mine requires like 220 horsepower. I've had it forever. I don't know who it's by. It's it's old. Bam, bam. Yeah, this is the one I have. Shepherd Sprayer. Requires 220 horsepower, but you know what? I hooked it up to the uh, the Alice 8000 series, and it it did fine. But I got rid of it. Yeah, that's it right there. Looks just like the one you have, but you said yours only requires what 150 or something. 150 horses. A A W modding, gotcha. Yeah, that one I just showed you, I've had that a long time. I think I used it in FS19 a lot. And uh, got converted or by somebody. Gleaner's sitting out there waiting. Looks like he's got about... Oh, jeez. He's just got that little chunk right there to finish, and he's done. Well, that a nice. Mm -hmm. 
but Matthew Gomez. Iriagri is pronounced Air Agri. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Until I'm an American, now. Huh? I'm about to go upstairs to bed. I wish I could spawn myself there. Just don't trip. Be careful. Right, we're sitting at 50%. That'll be fine. That means the rest will fit in here. Perfection. All right, harvest is gonna continue over there and we are gonna top off the cows, which won't take long at all. Come on, baby, fire it up. I hope everybody's been enjoying this series. This is like episode five, and we've only been doing it since last week. So you, uh, definitely loving this map. I normally don't do that, uh, but I, I just love it. So I've been enjoying adding, like we built the farmyard last night, and we built the warehouse. It's been a little extra exciting to uh, play on. All right, we'll come back and get that in a minute. I need to get it. What's what's like the best? American style feed mixer. I'm using this darn European one. I need like a, <clears throat> like, and I probably have a good one. You tell me, chat. Scooty's workbench, Pleasant View, help me out here. So out of all the mixers I have, we have the Lucas. Whatever loads in. Watch it crash the game. We'll look at a different one. Uh, we got the Kuhn. Uh, we got the Robert. Are the Robert ones considered American style? I use these a lot. Yeah, I don't know if that's considered a European style feeder or if that's an American brand. I don't know. I really don't. Um, Anderson. I have no idea. What's up, Brian Taubman? <clears throat> what maps is Tyson Fields? The White Farm. I don't do cows, so I use the gale for the pig food. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. You don't like doing cows at all, huh? Fairson. I think that's a European. Um, and then I got some Tambora. Never heard of that one. Silo Farmer, Tambora. Pretty cool looking. And then Lucas Spirit. This is just a bigger uh, Lucas. This thing's a beast. That holds 30,000 liters. That'd be nice, actually. A Anderson would be fine. They don't make a bunch of good American ones. Anderson... Honestly, with the farm this size, the Kuhn is perfect. I've seen an Oliver with the exact setup on a big tractor power. So you're thinking the Kuhn? What's up, MRJ? Like this one right here, the RA-142. Doesn't hold a whole lot. That's all right. It'd fit in there better. 29.5. So I might keep an eye on buying that chat once we get this thing empty. How's MRG doing? Yeah, there's only... Yeah, there's not much left in here. Ah, dang it. We still got a little ways to go to empty this. It's still 9% full. Oh, actually, I think we can dump it. 
I'm pretty sure you can dump TMR in the uh, feed bin, the mixer bin. Let's see if we can unload the rest. Switch sides. Yeah. Look at that. We'll just dump the rest in storage. All right. All right. That one's kind of ugly, isn't it? All right. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. We're going to get some money back on this, too. We'll repair it. We're going to get 67 grand back. We're actually going to make a profit on this trade. I'm all about that profit. All right, so we'll go with the we'll go with that. Robert is European. I thought so. I wasn't sure. Kuhn would be fine. Need a good, uh, yeah. So uh, Anderson and Kuhn are the good ones. Uh, hello, Frosty, and everyone. So Tommy Powers, how are you, laddie? Uh, if links are allowed, I'm doing great. If links are allowed, links for what? He said, honestly, with the farm this size, the Kuhn is perfect. I've seen an Oliver with that exact setup on big tractor power. What do you need a link for? I don't I don't know if it lets you put links in here. I, I'm seriously, I don't know. Because sometimes I'll have uh, the moderators put streamers like Rabbit Rob, Pleasant View. But I don't know if the actual link, does it work? I don't know. If it works, go for it. Uh, sing it, Hank. Good evening, Scott Brown. All right, so we're just gonna buy this. Only requires 90 horsepower. And it's only 29,500 bucks. It'll fit in the cow pen a lot better. So let's buy it. I got, I got 42 grand left over. Chat, we were sitting at six grand. We just, uh, we just made a turnaround on money. Well, that and that. Old Oliver's gonna hook up to it. And we'll test it out. We'll make our first mix with it. Ooh, that monitor is almost right up against the rear glass. Like right up on it. Look at that. It's almost kissing it. As long as it's not interfering with it, it should be alright. Rabbit Rob, yeah, yeah. I think you should buy the smallest one possible. This is. <laughs> this is the smallest one, Isaiah. I tried sending the link. I guess it didn't go through, but the video... Oh, link to a video? Yeah, I don't think that'll work. Yeah. It didn't go through, but the video name is Oliver1855 Tractor Races the Rain to Feed Cows. If you ever want to check it out, exact same setup you got. <laughs> Woo, baby. Get me a little excited there, daddy. Alright, look at that. Oh, yeah. Much easier to maneuver with this. Maybe. Here, here, little cowsies. I got the new mixer for you. Alright. Oh, that's another Facebook follower. That's so weird. That pops through. Uh, let me see. Jacoby Williams with the fo or That was yesterday. My alerts are all jacked up. Uh, hey, Frosty, have you ever heard of the map named Neverland? I've heard of it. I know nothing about it. I don't even know what it looks like, but I've heard of it. It's on the mod hub, I think, right? All right, so we'll do 20% straw. And that's way more than 20%. So we just jack that whole uh, thing up. Let's see if we can just put some straw bedding in. Well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Jeez. All right, this mixer fills super fast, so that's a negative. 
But that's all right. I'll just have to be faster. I like barely tapped it and then put it at 40%. Not good, mate. Not good. I'll try to dump some straw off. For the pigs. to be further away from the trigger point or they're already topped off yeah they're already topped off dang it all right that's okay we can dump the remainder back into storage <laughs> sorry about the back and forth i'm getting used to my new mixer So that's going to go right back into storage. Ooh, I could just stop this at 20%. 20, right there. Perfect. Eventually we'll get it. Mr. Beetlebets, thank you for the $10 super Australian scruple chat. It says, hello, Frosty. How are you? And can you or anyone help me? Do you know someone or anyone who can modify a forge wagon for FS-22? <laughs> what are you wanting done to it? If I had to guess, I've seen your style of farming. You probably want it to be able to hold about a million liters of straw or grass, right? So you're probably wanting to change uh, capacity. Yeah, I think uh, there's a very large amount of people in here that could probably do that for you. But yeah, you can, uh, you know how to get in touch. You know how to message me, buddy. Send me what you're trying to get, and I'll see if I can fix it for you. All right. Background in. All right, so now we need to add hay and silage. All right. Hey. Take that to 60%. And then silage. All right, there's our levels right there, all in the green. We got TMR. But we already topped off the cows, so they're good to go. There you go. We got a full uh Full trailer full of TMR for next time. So smaller the wagon, faster it fills. So you got to be quick on stopping what, you know, if you're trying to put three different products in. If you had to add mineral feed, I'd probably jack it up. I wouldn't be able to stop it in time. So there you go. Cows are good. I think that's all our animals topped off except the horses. Yeah, pigs, beautiful. Or uh, horses can't talk at all chat the cows are fed chickens are fed the pigs are fed last thing left is the horsies we're gonna buy some bags of feed for them but we'll get back to that in a minute let's go finish up the soybean harvest it should be completed i'm a stuttering bob tonight Whew. What's up, Wesley Bowman? Thank you again, Mr. Beetlebets. Appreciate the uh, super chat, buddy. Yeah, message my Facebook uh, page, and I'll I'll try to edit for you and get it fixed. Well, I don't know if I can. Two billions, kind of pushing it there, brother. <laughs> Gosh, coming in with the five uh, five dollar super chat. He says I wanted to hold up to two billion liters. That I don't know. What, what's the max capacity? Where's the modders in the chat? I know we got lots of modders in here. Is there a limit to, to capacity when you edit an XML? Two billion's a little... That's a little much there, sir. <laughs> Two billion. You're, you're being serious, though. He is being serious, chat. 
Uh, the tractor sounds, it does. The sound is odd. I don't know about the interior quality on that tractor. That's why I don't show it very much. But the, the exterior's not too bad and it sounds awesome, the uh, Oliver. We had about had about 300 bushels in there, something like that. I've been mixing mine 35, 45, 15. Nice, very nice. Hello, Ice Dragon. Just got a feeling that Valley Springs is going to be the only map that will have them. Unfortunately, uh, have what? All oh, the baby animals for console. That probably is the only one that has them for console, huh? Does the console version have the baby animals, Glengar? I don't know, because I'm on PC. That's pretty stinking cool if it does. All right, let's get this stuff back to the farm. And the soybean is complete. How was, uh, Mia, how was school today? Wasn't today your first day back, you said? Hopefully it went well for you. All right, very short drive back to the house. It's right next door. I think that's it for harvest. Rest of the night's gonna be all kinds of other chores. Four hundred and four bushels. I'm not, you're going to hear me saying bushels all the time now since we changed, converted the, uh, the uh, info. I knew it. We broke 70,000 liters on three fields of soybean, maybe close to 80 here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to break 80. Come on, come on, keep going. Yep. 80,000, 81. 81,711 liters of soybean. That's on last night's stream. And right now, all our soybean fields are done. That's that's a crap load of soybean right there, baby. So if we go into our storage, we've got 2,791 bushels that pay, if we wait till July... Uh, it'll pay $130.77 per bushel. And we have almost 2,800 bushels. We're going to be raking in the money. You feel me? So we're going to hold on to it, of course. Uh, right now we're in the month of October, which is one almost the lowest. So we'll hold on to it in the silo. And then we'll be filthy rich. But the filthy, disgusting rich, yes. And then we can pay off that $800,000 loan that we took out to build the warehouse. <laughs> but it's nice. Let's cut through the field here. Get the gleaner put away. Can someone tell me the difference between sorbine and adamame? Adamame. Adamame. If I left two donuts in the truck from lunchtime at 106 degrees outside, are they still good? Yeah. Especially if they had, like, uh, icing on them. They're going to be all... Oh, bleh. You, you'll, you'll enjoy it. 
when I, I used to work for R&L Carriers back, like, right when I graduated uh, high school. I worked there, like, part-time. And in the wintertime in Ohio, the dock didn't have heat. It was freezing. Like, we had to bundle up in layers. But every Friday, the manager would buy a crap load of donuts. And before the shift was over, those donuts were hard as a brick because they were sitting in that freezing cold air uh, all morning long during the morning shift. But they still taste good. Stick them in the microwave for a minute, and they're yummy. What's up, Budman81? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Not sure if there's a limit. Never been bold enough to try to set the fill level to 2 billion, says Glengar. So it might be possible, Beetle Bets. I'll see what I can do, brother. It might be possible. All right, so we got that all cleaned up. That's a pretty good sized field. And the old gleaner got it done. How long we've been live? Like, I guess we've been live an hour. A little under an hour it took to uh, get that field done. Still not bad. All right, bring her on home. Farmer Billy lets me park this in his old shed. The one that he used to use for everything, but since we built him a new farmyard, uh, he doesn't need a, a spot that's available in his old white shed down here. So he said I could park the old gleaner in there. This thing goes 21 mile an hour. Pleasant View doesn't mess around. He's like, when you're done harvesting, he wants you to get home quick so you can get some dinner. Yeah, we'll be parking it right in there. If you missed last night's stream chat, uh, we built Farmer Billy, our neighbor, we built him a new farmyard. So all the equipment that he lets us borrow will be found here from now on. He's got his own nice farmyard. He's got a silo for extra storage that we can always put our crops in there to, to wait till it's in demand. And uh, this will also be where we park the harvester. All right. Went with the duels. I think I usually use singles on this uh, harvester, but... Decided to throw the duels on it tonight. Right. There you go. Easy peasy, baby. But yeah, that's his. Uh, that's his fancy farmyard. It's got the nice Welker Farms uh, buildings and sheds. He's got a nice setup in here, huh? Never went up here. Oh, it's a little storage area. Very nice. Extra parts and stuff for maintenance. I like it. What's up, Tony? Uh, two billion should be okay, but you need to remove the mass, or it ain't gonna go anywhere. All the what? Okay, the uh, mass. Yeah, otherwise attract. Yeah, that's the weight, so that makes sense. <laughs> so why you just put that to zero? Or long time driver, glad to see you, but gotta get to bed. Driving in the AM. Hope all's well with you and your family, Frosty. I'm popping in for a minute, Kyle Gallant. Nice to hear from you, sir. Sleep well and drive safe, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate that. All right, we do have all that play money. Let's focus on feeding those horses, finishing my task, getting rid of all the animal 
uh, care for the night. So we'll buy... We'll get two bags for $2,600. Jeez. It's kind of crazy. You ask me. Man, it's kind of crazy. Fire up the old Lindy. Have you broke any equipment yet? Not yet. I traded in our feed mixer. I think that's the only financial changes I've done so tonight while we've been live. I sold the... I sold that little Massey Harris tractor last night, the one that was like did a pop a willy when I tried to pull that little trailer. I got rid of that. That was only worth like four grand. No, no, that was only worth like $600. And then I sold the regular arable header for the old International. And that wasn't worth a whole lot either. Purchased the Gleaner. And yeah, I think I, oh yeah, I did, I did, I did lease two big trucks over at the warehouse. One for box truck deliveries or van trailer deliveries and then uh, one to pull the flatbed. I got rid of that Freightliner cab over. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it so I traded that in for a KW. watching tonight. What's up, Jason? Have you ever used a forklift in real life? Yes. Yep, I used to work at uh, r &L Carriers, like I was saying a little bit ago. Yep, loaded, uh, actually loaded all the doubles and triples that went from the Ohio terminal to Texas. I did a lot of the Texas freight. Ugh. He's riding with me. He's everywhere. Just can't get away. All right. That should do it for the, uh, the feed. That's oats. It's pretty much oats in a bag. That's base food for uh, horses. I can't go one day without using a folk truck. Oh, fork truck. In real life at work? Oh yeah, especially as a farmer. Yeah, I bet you're always using it. Moving pallets around, moving parts around, unloading bags, uh, pulling things. All kinds of, it can be used for multiple things. All right, let's see how that did for the horses. All right, so, eh, you know, 
It got them. They'll be fine. They nibble on food. They don't eat at a fast rate. There's only two young uh, babies. Excuse me. So they got their base food. They got a little bit of hay. Their health is going to start jumping up. So they're good. All right, now we're going to hop in the forklift. And I'm going to show you my two little greenhouses that are on the other side of my house. On this map, you can make mixed salad and something else. Mixed salad and strawberry jam. And my popcorn factory just ran out. I'm going to start making a habit of leaving factories on all the time. I think that's realistic. That way you're still paying a fee for the factory running, keeping people employed at role play. I feel like we should leave it on, even if we don't have any product in it. If we own the place, it should be running. And uh, if we take a hit on it, that's our own fault. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to transfer this. It's super easy. It's literally right behind the garden. We've only got a couple pallets here. And they're both uh, strawberries. Your mix oats with milk, sugar, and strawberries. Mm. How did you water them? I, ha I had a... The trailer I was using, it was a modded one from the mod hub, and it just didn't work. So I switched to just the little water trailer, the base game, white one, and it was then it worked fine. So it was a mod issue. It was nothing to do with the actual horse pasture on this map. Troubleshooting, and we figured it out. All right, so 1,000 liters of strawberries. And it literally goes right here. <laughs> they just drop it off right there. And if we go in here... Um, or no, that's the wrong... Yeah, right here. So once it does all its processing, then it'll spawn out here once it's made uh, mixed or whatever. What did I say? Strawberry jam. So we'll activate strawberry jam and it should start. And you know how I'm using the uh, new uh, converter for the info? So now it's doing pieces. So we've got 998 strawberries, pieces of, you know, single strawberries. Pretty cool. It's gonna make strawberry jam. Probably take quite a while to make a pallet, but at least it's producing something, eh? We're not going to get rich, rich on strawberry jam on this map. I'll tell you that right now. I fast forwarded like three months and it took that long just to get two pallets of strawberries. So don't be thinking you're going to get rich on strawberry uh, jam. It ain't happening. All right, chap. We are ready to rock and roll. So I think it's time to go over to the warehouse to get our big truck. I think we're going to get the flatbed. And we're going to load up popcorn, french fries, and bread. Those are things we have created uh, we also need to deliver some milk at some point. 
Maybe we'll do that real quick. How about we do that first? Let's go to Farmer Bill's house. And uh, borrow his milk truck. We'll get the milk taken over to the dairy production. And it'll start making cheese. We're not going to make butter. We're just going to be cheese guys. Because that way it'll produce more of one product instead of trying to split it between two other ones. Mr. Beetle Bats, you and your $10 Super Chats. He sent another one, ladies and gentlemen. He says, I have one on FS19 that can hold two something. They're called loading wagons on 19, but I don't know what they're called on FS22. Here's what you need to do. You don't even need my help, Beetle Bats. Um, well, it doesn't hold a million, but uh, Stevie's... Farming Simulator 22, Stevie's Edits. Uh, you should join his group on Facebook. He's got a group where he has all his mods. I think all his videos. I'm subscribed to him on YouTube. Uh, Stevie's... Stevie... I forget what his channel's called, but it's... Uh, he's the one who makes the uh, Elm Creek edit. And Ringwoods. And like five other maps he has edited a lot of the uh, base game stuff to hold a crazy amount of capacity and right all right farmer billy snagging the milk truck thank you buddy We'll go uh, empty our milk tank, and like I said, we'll run over to the dairy mill and get some cheese in production. He probably has a blue one. If you were, if you want more strawberries, just go. I don't want the big boy green. I, I don't need them. Yeah, I don't need them. That's just a little fun thing to do. It's built into the map, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll be getting rich on the popcorn and french fries. I got tons of french fries to load up tonight. So there's the milk trigger. All right, so we just loaded up 917 gallons of milk, bottom right corner. So that is completely empty. We're going to go run this over there. I got to double check where that's located. I don't think I've delivered there yet. Grain mill. Bakery. French fries. Dairy. Okay, so we're going way over here. Nice. All right, this will be a nice little drive. So it switches the liquids to gallons, which is cool. I like that. This will set us. This will set us up pretty good. We'll uh, deliver the milk, and then I can run the milk truck. We'll just drive it down the road to the warehouse and start doing the warehouse work. It's almost like I had it planned, eh? Very nice. Ah, I should have set up the drill. Should have got some winter wheat drilled in. What was I thinking? Bobby. All right. Our grass still hasn't grown in from our lawn job we did back there. So fancy. If you have the hazards on in your own driveway, 
around here people think you're drunk. I know, it's a bad habit. I always turn them on when I'm playing farm sim. Always. Safety first. <laughs> oh. Alright, dairy mill. Ah, I, I made a wrong turn. We were supposed to go under the bridge. Son of a... Made a wrong turn. No farmer Billy told me he needed his truck when he was done. Does anyone have a link? So, uh, links don't work, remember? We just tried that, Beetle Bets. Um, Steve, Stevie's FS22 Farm Edits, I think is what it's called. You, you'll find it. It's super easy to find on Facebook. It won't grow. Mine's been mowed for five game days and still nothing. Really? Well, Scooty Pooty lied. He said it would grow back. Are you in the winter months? Grass doesn't grow in the winter months, remember? Maybe that's why. Right, here we are. All right, so we're not getting paid for this because we own the factory. We're just emptying it. The heck's the front door? There it is. There we go. We put 916 gallons in there. Now it's going to start making some chase. And it goes by pieces. So we're almost at one piece of cheese. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so we're done with that. Let's, uh, you know what? Yeah, we got to get that warehouse going. Let's let's go to the warehouse. I really, I really should set up the drill so it could so it could be seeding while we're out making deliveries. What do you think, chat? Whew. Thing takes wide turns, a little rough. Well, the Patriots lost. Oh, they play tonight. I don't know why I don't have Farming Simulator 22. I don't know why either. Awesome job, Frosty. When are... I don't know, Jason. You ask that like every day. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Yes, yeah, set it. We should, we should set it up. Alright, there's our uh, warehouse we created. We got the American flag, the Big Rig Frosty flag. That just reminds me that here's the entrance to our warehouse. Yeah. We'll be grabbing that flatbed right there. Ah, uh, doesn't she look pretty? So I leased that Kenworth back there. And I also leased this, uh, T, T, uh, this is a T-800? T-600, duh. Got the slope nose. I leased that because we didn't have enough money to buy it outright. So that Kenworth, the slope nose, will be the one that pulls the uh, box trailer out on the main roads. And then the flatbed will be what we use to pick up stuff from all the other places. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now we'll get her dead.
We got Beetle Bets with another $2 Australian Super Chat. Says, I forgot to mention, I messaged you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it at the moment, buddy. But after the stream, I'll try to help you out. Sound good? Sound good, Mike? <clears throat> Where is Stevie? Stevie's usually listening sometimes. He doesn't chat much these days, but sometimes he does. He's been doing all right. I've been seeing him do a lot of... Uh, he's been playing a lot of ATS lately. I've been seeing his loads come in on uh, Truck's book. Uh, Doug Barber is also in the house. Says, good evening, Frosty and Chat. How are y'all? I'm doing good, brother. Just firing up this uh, W9er. It's actually a W900B. If you look at the hood, it's a little uh, shorter than uh, a long W900. And it's got the Frosty Great Dane flatbed on there, which can hold up to 68 pallets. Thing's a beast. I will not be showing you the interior of this truck because there is something very inappropriate in there from the person who edited this mod. <laughs> so I am not showing you the inside. But the outside is radiant. It's very nice. Good looking ride. All right, so I'm just going to kind of pick things up as we go. We got the bakery up here on the left where I can get our bread pallets loaded up. I am good. How about you get the drill going first? I, should we run over there and get the drill going? I, th I really think we should. Hi, Frosty. How you doing today? Hi, chat. How's everyone doing? What's up, Manuel Bacara? That truck interior leaves a lot to be... Mm, the interior is beautiful, but there's something in there that's not beautiful. And I don't want to show that. So, uh, Good evening, all. First time chatter, long time lurker. What's up, Jay Fry? The first truck I ever drove hauling cows was a W900B. Love that truck, says Doug Barber. Really? This thing is slicker than snot on the doorknob, I tell ya. It's a beautiful ride. Super detailed, too. All right, so we're actually making a left right in here to the bakery. I'm hoping there's enough room to turn around. Oh, yeah. That's what I like about this map. Even though it's a smaller map, the production areas have plenty of room to, like, maneuver, which some maps don't. So I do like that a lot. Get me some bread. There's not a lot of bread, but there's bread. Better than nothing. All right. 4,000 liters to be exact. All right, on to the next pickup. We'll be uh, stopping to get a crap load of French fries. We have so many French fries, it's not even funny. It's such a habit to switch to first person view. I gotta really make sure I don't. <laughs> you behave yourself. You too, Owen McGuire. Uh, wish I was on the PC. That tanker looks awesome. It is nice, Blake. It is nice. Mr. Van Booski, how the heck are you, brother? How's life treating you, Mr. Van Booski? Uh, Stevie has hopped in a few lunchtime streams this week, says John. Yeah, I've chatted with him on Discord, but. Um. Yeah, he usually shows up in the chat at some point. Somewhere in the night, he stops in and says hello to everybody. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo! Almost took his front end off. All right, next stop, French Fry Factory.
I'm playing on Elm Creek map on Xbox One. Does anyone know of an auto load trailer to load eggs? Yes. 82 Studio. Anything by 82 Studio. Even his, uh, I think even some of his bed attachments for his pickup trucks have auto load stuff. I know the TLX 2020 has like a box, a box attachment to make it like a little box truck. And it can auto load pretty much any of the base game stuff. Look at all these french fries. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a french fry party. <laughs> oh! I had to like kick a bunch out of the the zone so more could spawn. There's like so much french fries right here. All right, ready for this? Load that up, daddy. I right, gotta get closer. Thirty-one thousand liters of French fries. Okay. Now we're gonna go next door and get like three pallets of popcorn, and we made that just from last night's stream. Uh, these potatoes. I think we harvested potatoes on episode two. This is episode five, so. Since the last three episodes, we've made a lot of french fries. That'd be nice. I think what I'll do is once we get these final pallets on, before we go take these to the warehouse, that's where we can set up the drill to start planting while we're out working. Let's get ourselves lined up here. All right, popcorn's right behind us. All right, that one pallet's a little too out of reach. Let's give it a little little push, but that's what it looks like. K77 Popcorn, that's the modder who made the map, K77. Just gonna give that a little nudge. Going that way. All right, 4,000 liters of popcorn, 4,000 liters of bread, 31,000 liters of French fries. I'd say that's a hefty load right there. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. And that is all going to uh, be stored in the warehouse. Just gonna leave this here for a little bit. And let's go fire up. I traded in Scooty Pooty, if you're still watching, I got rid of the uh, John Deere, well, the case. The repainted John Deere that was painted as a case drill, I got rid of it and traded it in for this. So now we're rocking the uh, John Deere 1590 no-till drill. And I've, I have it set up for seed only because I was tired of having to go out into the field and re, re, uh, refill it with fertilizer. Get that thing fired up and get it rolling. Uh, do Ann Baker, thank you for the one gifted big rig frosty game and membership going to Dean Hole. Come on down. That's Dean Hole. Thank you, do Ann. 
Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, James Coomer, good evening. Heck yeah, Daddy says Van Booski. Shoot, let them get cranky. Let the, let the huh? Let them get some Frankie. Are you taking the pickups back to the warehouse? Yes, Wesley. But first, I want to get some. Uh, I want to get someone working on a field here. Probably not going to get the best yield because we have crop rotation activated, the mod. But I hate leaving a field empty for like five months. So it's better to get something out of the field, right? All right. We do need to fill up some seed here. Trying to get rid of these loose bags, and then from then on, we can get it out of our seed uh, tender here. You can purchase to fill that, which I did after the fact that I bought like 10, 15 bags of seed. So let's get these out of here. This hold three? Ooh, that forklift's a beast. Look at that thing. Three bags like it ain't no time. Come on, baby. Oh, I like it. I don't know if we'll be able to get it high. Nah, this might not work. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Dang it, Bobby. Might have a solution. I don't know if this will work or not. to uh it's not a big deal because i have a planter that's empty i can throw that seed in there for this we'll just use our uh, little silo here it's all good by the got to use the crop rotation planner Yeah, I, I know. But it's... Yeah, if you like the fields that I want to put stuff in, it's not going to be a good... Uh, I'm using seasons, so I can only plant canola, barley, or wheat right now. So... There we go. How much did that cost? It didn't cost because I already paid to fill that in the, in the past. But it holds 15.7 bushels of seed. Let's get the heck out of here. So I want to drill this big field over here on the other side of the trees. And we're just going to throw wheat. Well, we'll check. We'll see if wheat or barley. Whichever one's better, wheat or barley. <clears throat> Alright, so Wheat is gonna yeah, they're both gonna give us sixty. Not very good. Canola's even worse. So it doesn't matter. Wheat or barley. Doesn't really matter. I'll go with wheat. We already got it set to that. Uh let's see. Yeah, where are he right now? See I got to go. All right, Grayson. I don't know what you're talking about, but have a good night, buddy. <laughs> Took me an hour to find an auto-load trailer to auto-load the French fries and popcorn on this map. Really? 
Yeah, most auto loads. It's just a normal size pallet. And thank you, Duan, for the gifted sub. I appreciate you, man. All right. So this field is perfectly set up. Perfect uh, nitrogen, perfect pH. We just got to plant something in it. It's about six acres. Let's get this set up. Four and a half meter work width. We'll do three headlands, sharp, clockwise. First waypoint. And bada bang, bada boom. Get her done. We'll let that John Deere get her done right there. Who is that in there? I don't know who that is. Who wants to who wants to work this machine, huh? Do you still have some French fries back at the pig's pen? I do. We have to good thinking. We gotta pick those up too. Forgot about that. Yes, sir, Bobby. So we're gonna leave uh We'll leave Tony Mc or Tony McKinley. <laughs> I just made up a new name. Tony McKinley. Tony McKinley's gonna be the one drilling this. <laughs> All right, so even with it being out of not a good rotation crop, we're still going to get 83% out of an 80% potential, which is still positive. So, hey, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so, uh, Tony McKinley, take it away, all right? We got 230 viewers in here. How many of you hit the like button? I know not all of you have, and that's fine. I know some of you that are watching don't like me, and that's fine, too. But uh, for those that do like what they see, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Glad to have you here. Hope you're having a good night. We're on a map called The White Farm, and it's on the Mod Hub. It's based on an area in Pennsylvania, somewhere between Baltimore and Philadelphia, I think it said. But uh, it's a cool map. I've, I've been loving it. It's not big. It's got about, what, 18 fields. It's got a forestry area. It's got grain mill, bakery, dairy, French fry production, uh, popcorn production, and then it's got another old American grain mill, which is a mod, but it's built into the map. It does require you to download it when you download the map. That can let you make oils, all kinds of stuff. You can make pig food mix. It's right here. The old American grain mill. You can make wheat, barley, oat, sorghum flour, sunflower, canola, olive oil, corn, pig food, sorghum, pig food, potato, pig food. All that can be done with that American grain mill. So it's a cool little map. I like it. It's got built-in chickens, cows, horses, and pigs. There is no sheep pasture. You would have to place your own sheep pasture at least I don't think there's one. <laughs> That'd be funny if there was a sheep pasture on here and I didn't even know it. Yeah, I don't I don't think there is. I own all the field Ooh, wait a minute. What's this? Oh, it's a shed. All right, so if we bought that chunk of land, we'd own this little storage shed. I was like, what is that? All right, we need to load up the... Uh, the other French fry pallets. This truck shut down while I was gone. I'm supposed to shut down. Sun floor, that did I say sun floor? Hit the stinking lock button, says Glengar. That is mouse and planting. Good evening. What's up, Troy Watson? How are you, buddy? Matt Lane, what's going on? First time here. I love doing the old school equipment, says Terrence and Chastity Weaver. What's up, man? Yeah, me too. I'm I'm big into uh, small, medium scale farming. So we'll wiggle this thing into the barn. Or we might have to use the forklift and bring the pallets out of the barn. Ah, we'll see. Whatever works. We 
feel like I'm playing American Truck Simulator. Got this fancy big rig set up. Ah! Just took out the family sign there, the white farm entrance. <laughs> All right, here we go. Should be able to wiggle around here. If you haven't bought that shed yet, there's a hidden vehicle in there. It's pretty awesome. You don't know that. What's up, uh, Paul Edward Detweiler? What's going on there, sir? I think we might just bring the pallets out of the barn with the forklift. That's probably going to be the best thing to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right, here we go. Struggling. This won't take too long. So originally I was gonna store them all here and then I got the idea to build a warehouse, which is gonna be way easier than Getting everything in and out of this little barn. Very nice forklift, by the way. Woo, daddy! No, 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 no! Stay, stay, stay. Nice hat. Thank you, Vaughn. Uh, unlike the Cowboys, at least Kevin showed back up. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. You gonna take that, Kevin? stuck on the forks. It's French, it's French fries. Do you realize how light those boxes are? Pick that whole pile up, daddy. I might be pushing it. <laughs> Come on, don't wimp out on me now. I will right, we'll have to come back and get the other, the last two. A little too much weight. Get off my forks! This is gonna be a whopping delivery. Hey, Frosty! This map is awesome and you're a great streamer. Keep up the great content, says Daniel Ricard. Thank you, baby. Appreciate that. I got this girl in Charleston that wants to hang out. Think I can make it there tonight from Indiana? Whew, it's gonna be a good drive. 10, 11 hours, depending on where you're at in Indiana. And don't you got to work in the morning? 
So that's going to be rough. But yeah, you can pull it off. Thank you again, Doug Barber. Michael Beetle Betts with the multiple drops. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, support to the show tonight. You gentlemen, I'll do appreciate it. Fumbled. Uh, was a great idea to build a warehouse. It was, you know. But that, that barn, this barn is awesome. You don't need a warehouse. I mean, look how good it stored all these french fries in there for us. It holds bales, uh, everything. So it is very cool that that's built into the map. All right, those should all fit. Truck didn't shut down on us either. Great. All right, let's load all this crap up. <laughs> no? 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 Good deal. There we go. F1, disable. All right, there you go. Crap load of french fries. 44,000 liters to be exact. All right, we're all loaded up and ready to go back to the... Uh... Ooh, eggs. I forgot. I have three pallets of eggs uh, sitting in here. We could throw them, them, yeah, them in storage as well. little egg room. Perfect. Yeah! Load them eggs up. Come on. All right. We got a crap load of pallets on here. <laughs> Think we're good to go go out this way. And look at our hired worker go. Before we head out, let's just see how he's doing on seed. Oh yeah, he'll be able to do the entire field. I'm glad we upgraded because the uh, drill I was using, it ran out of seed so quick. Uh, this one holds almost twice as much capacity. So, nice little upgrade, and it didn't cost a ton, and it looks nice with the tractor, so. There you go. Winter wheat getting drilled in here. There are some issues with this auto-load trailer, as you can see, but it gets the job done. I don't go for looks. I go for it to fit on the trailer, and it fits. A little crooked, but it fits. Y'all can calm down. I'm here now. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you got here in time, bass. Old bass singers in the house. How you doing today, sir? Thanks for uh, stopping in. Glad to know I'm not the only one using the tandem with the 4020. It looks good. I think it looks good together. It almost looks like it's meant to be. Man, I wish I could show the inside of this truck. It's so nice. But it's 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 not it's it's nice, but it's not nice at the same time. You just have to imagine what it looks like. And a right. So yeah, that's that's my that's my thing I'm gonna be doing on this map is every once in a while doing what we're doing tonight. Just do a big run. 
you can see we can load up a lot at once. So just kind of go around our production, stock them up, load them up, take them to the warehouse. And then each month we fast forward time, we'll just keep a track on what's in demand, head to the warehouse, load up what's in demand, sell it. And make a killing. A nice horn too. I think we got cotton harvest coming up soon. I think that'll be the next crop we have to do. And that's when we rent the harvester from the dealership and uh, load it up on a flatbed low boy and everything and de deliver it to the field. That'll be fun. Almost to the warehouse. So we can do this two different ways. I don't know if this is, with this flatbed, I don't think it's gonna work where we can uh, back it up to the dock. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't think it's gonna work though. I think the rear end's gonna be too high on the dock and the forklift won't be able to get up onto the trailer. So if that happens, what we'll do is unload it all on the uh, the driveway and go in and out with the forklift here at the shop. But I'm I'm hoping it fits in the dock. We'll see. All righty. That Mr. Fire Slime. Why can't we see the inside? Because it's something very inappropriate inside. I love how you edit your videos to look like you are live streaming. Aren't they nice? Thank you, Scooter. You're the first one to notice. Thank you. Lots of editing. Can you store cotton at the warehouse? I don't know. I don't think I'd want to. <laughs> Those are massive. I'll probably store the cotton at my own farm or Farmer Billy's. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. I put that truck there on purpose to give give myself a challenge backing in. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Definitely need to line up a little better. Come on, baby. That truck, real, I put that like in the worst spot. Worked out great. It's like blocking the straight path to back in. Yeah, I don't know if this will work, chat. Wish we could drop the air or something. That'd be cool. That's way above the dock plate. Oof. Ah. Oof. Oh boy, yeah, look at that, there's no way. Um, we can get some off the tail end just for fun, I guess, but that's about it. Um, all right, so the straps are off. That's a bummer, huh? That'd be cool to see on the 82 Studios van trailer with the uh, yard dog hooked up to it, we can lower the back end, which is sweet. It makes it actually uh, fit. for it once and you just drop it in there and it stores it so it puts it in there 
four pallets of popcorn and french fries as well. And then the way it works is if we want one that's in demand, we just come over here and we spawn it out. And then we use the forklift to load it up and go sell it. So that's how the uh, warehouse works. Yeah, no way we're gonna get up on there. <laughs> Dang it! Would have been so cool though. This so nice. Yeah, that ain't happening. <clears throat> All right, so we'll just have to uh, go outside and do it that way. But like I said, loading things will work just fine. It'll work like it's supposed to. There you go. Lower the ground. It doesn't work that way. It's got built-in ramps on it. So it wouldn't do anything for that part. There's no fixing it. That was a nice drive in the flatbed. That worked out good. Flashes off. Lights off. Shut her down. I gotta get all that stuff up here. Won't take long. Kinda wish I had the long forks though on the uh, Lindy. Let's start over here. Just have a little forklift party. We got. Kevin Flores coming in with the 20 bomb as well. Says, Frosty, which game costs you the most so far? FS19 or FS22? Um, I think FS22 has had more DLCs that I've purchased. So, yeah, I'd say FS22 I've invested more because I got the see. I never did season passes on 19. Did 19 have a season pass? I don't even remember. Yeah, I've definitely invested more on FS-22. What concert would you love to go to? Hmm. That's a very good question. Concert would I want to go to? I'd have to think about that. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. What uh, are you related to any Amish? Not that I know of. Why? Let's see the inside of the cab. No. I can't. It's very inappropriate. Is that a KW? Uh, that truck? I w no, that's a Volvo. Uh, can you back the flatbed up the ramp? Yeah, but I ain't doing that. This is more realistic. You wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't back a flatbed in there. Silly. But yeah, you're right, you could. If we were wanting to really get it done fast, we could. This won't take long. I'm picking up four pallets at a time. And I think this warehouse lets you store up to 2,000 pallets. Have you heard Loot Combs' fast car? Yeah. The, the ren, re, bleh, rendition or whatever. Yeah, not bad. You like it? I like the original better, but it's good. Can you replace the building to be out of the ground more? No. It, it wouldn't matter. Look, look, guys. It has a built... These are built in. See these little ramps? They're built in to the warehouse. So no matter what you did to the ground, you still have this ramp that's causing you to have a certain type of clearance 
with the dock, so it wouldn't matter. It's not going to work, which sucks, but... Uh, but this trailer works great. Like I said, I can drop the air in the rear end, and it's pretty darn level. But at least we won't have any issues with this one. I can drive right into there. With no problem. Can't even hear my music tonight. There we go. Got to hear my jams. You're going to two concerts this year? You lucky little boy. Bry said he's gonna play this tomorrow, Frosty. Yeah, right. He was he was joshing you. I haven't seen him play farm sim in who knows how long. Yeah, I doubt it. He was probably giving you a fib. Whew, a little more weight on the French fries. Back ends wanting to do a Papa Willy. Ah. <laughs> we were on the f two wheels going up the ramp. That's funny. Load that up. I'm going to play this tomorrow. No, you're not. You must have fell and bumped your head if you're playing this tomorrow. I don't believe it. I'll believe it when I see it. That game today, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I'll probably uh, play a little bit tonight, too. Maybe. Got to get up a little earlier in the morning than usual. Uh, Miss Frosty and I are doing a little community service thingy. We're uh, taking cookies to uh, old people, like in a nursing homes. Take a, she baked a crap load of cookies, so we're gonna go uh, go deliver them in the morning. So I gotta get up at a little earlier than I usually would. Just got off there. I played, I think, 11 hours today, that game. What the heck's it called? It's one of those games I'll never remember the name of. But it's good. It just came out today. It's, uh, it's kind of like a survival game. If anybody ever played Medieval Dynasty, it's just like that, but based in a different uh, culture and region. It's fun. We might have to trade the Clark in for the Lindy. The Lindy could handle, like, six pallets. It had the long forks on it. Yeah, we might have to trade it in. I think we need to get rid of the Clark. What do you think, chat? It's a nice forklift, but we can, we can do better. Let's sell it. Oh, we leased it. Nice. Yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll lease a better one. Get this done quicker. <clears throat> there was a reason we got the Clark. Because the Lindy doesn't fit in the trailer. Oh my gosh. How do I mess that up? Travis, you're right. Why did I do that? Literally figured that out last night. <laughs> That's why we didn't have... Oh, my gosh. 8.1 ton. Man. Why'd I do that? All right, we're getting the Clark again. <sighs> hmm. That was a little waste of money. <laughs> Lease for nineteen hundred bucks a month. We I do have lease to own, so if we ever did want to just buy it outright, we can. Can't believe I just did that. I forgot all about the the height of the mast on the Lindy. Screwed up. Screwed up, dang it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, just has a little hard time handling four pallets. Watch the back end right here. I didn't do it that time, but it's been like flying up in the air. Buy both. It's true. Should, yeah, we could. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's do that. By the time I do all that, I could have had that loaded on. Huh? Yeah, this will be our inside forklift. The Lindy doesn't fit. Thank you for reminding me. I, the minute I bought it, I was like, Argh. how's the memory working today? Hey, as usual, you know, keep one for outside. Exactly, quadruple A. That's right. French fries usually do cause more weight than popcorn. You're right, Mr. McKinley. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. I seen Belinda Carlisle in the cores. Ooh, I don't know who they are. That sounds fun. Sounds fun, though. I'm an old people. Let me get some cookies. My Yeah. She made like one, two, three, four. She made like six dozen cookies or something. <clears throat> What's that game called? Sengoku. Sengoku Dynasty. Sengoku. Yes, let's get the Lindy. And we'll get the big boy one here. We get big long forks for it. Stick some. Yeah. Put those on there. Right, that's good. Lease, eighteen hundred a month, and then get the long forks. Then we get a bunch of pilots on there. Yo yo. Do some red ones. I'll buy them. They're only 700 bucks. Yeah. Good stuff. Does the fact that you're getting up early in the AM mean that you'll be ending the stream early tonight, Frosty? I don't know, Elizabeth. No, it'll be normal. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. When I worked at the uh, Volvo car plant, we used to have long forks on these uh, much bigger forklifts, and they were like maybe twice the length of that. Well, I guess the normal length, and then you put these, they were like shoes, and they were like another five, six feet extended. And, oh. I used to maneuver those bad. I was on night shift, so there's less workers. You could do things that you probably wouldn't be allowed to do on the day shift. I would literally go into a trailer, and if the pallets were lined up nice, I'm not even kidding, buddy. It was, the forklift was massive, so it had the, the power to do it. And I'd pick up as much as that forklift could pick up. I'd have like eight, 10 pallets on it, dragging it out of the trailer. <laughs> manager would be looking at me. He'd be like, you better not mess it up. And I'd be like, don't you worry. Everything gonna be all right. Ooh. They didn't dance around like this in the warehouse in real life, though. Ah. See? A little glitchy. See if we can push our eggs upside down up the uh, warehouse ramp. Ow! Horsepower. Get him in there. Nice. <laughs> Upside down eggs. 1,400 pieces. Hey, it takes it upside down. Good stuff. A friend of mine was killed when a forklift fell on him. Why, why would you have laughy faces? A friend was killed by a forklift and you're laughing. Interesting. 
I got long fork I carried around with me all day, <laughs> says Orville Ward. <laughs> oh, you're a funny man. Whew. <laughs> you're silly. You are absolutely silly. Maybe because I didn't have the fork spread out enough. Maybe it wasn't stable. Let's see if they wiggle around this time. I think that was it. I had the forks uh, too narrow. Very nice. <laughs> ah, Oroville, you know how to make everybody laugh. There was a guy around here that a fork truck turned on the corner and the fork uh, went through his knee. When I wick, when I wicked, when I worked for R and L carriers, uh, someone got decapitated. They put their head through the mass because we had little, uh, little, uh, whatchamacallit, barcode guns. You'd, you'd scan the barcode sticker on the pallet. Well, sometimes you had to get real close to be able to scan the barcode, and he was a heavy set dude. So, I think we had heister lifts, which all the levers, it was old school, the levers were right in front of you. Like, right, right there. They would have been right there. So he leaned in, tried to hit a barcode on top of a pallet that was, and he put his whole head through the this mast area. And the forks were up here. So he put the forks up like that, put his head through the mast, was trying to scan the barcode. His big old belly smacked the levers and, and boom, took his head clean off. And he died right there on the spot. Yes. Pretty gruesome. And it wasn't funny either. There was no laughy emojis. It's pretty, uh, pretty morbid. It sucked. Yeah. But there's your positive, uh, there's your non-positive info of the night. <laughs> Very dangerous to put your head through the mass of a forklift. And I'm guilty of it. I've done it before. Those stinking barcodes will drive you nuts. You're trying to scan them. You're trying to, like, keep a fast pace. Uh, loading trucks, unloading trucks. Woo! See, the Clark could only do four pallets. This bad boy does six. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, yo. I, <clears throat> I bet he won't do that again. No, I don't think he's going to do that again. Yeah, forklifts are lethal. Yep. Uh, I got along. <laughs> oh, man. That was Orville. That was good stuff. Very good stuff. <clears throat> Snag these two, I guess. Final scoop. All right, nice. So we've got our first massive shipment of uh, goods delivered to our brand new warehouse. Worked out very nicely. So that's just gonna be the way we have to do it. Uh, Deliveries to the warehouse, flatbed, unloaded on the driveway, brought in with the big forklift, and then uh, out, outbound deliveries. We use the Clark to load up in the 53-foot van. So, yeah, it work that nice. Yeah, so if we go into storage. We got four pallets of popcorn, four pallets of bread, 25 pallets of French fries, and three pallets of eggs. 
So it's beautiful. Next time, or each month when we fast forward, we'll go into our uh, time saving stock check. And we'll go over here to the max month. Like right now, cheese is in demand, but we don't have any because we literally just delivered milk. So it like just started making, we only got 49 liters of cheese. Uh, but October, November, we will have eggs eggs will be in demand in november so we'll be able to do an outbound delivery to the fast food restaurant and december we'll have some canola but that's from the farm and then january is when we got all kinds of stuff flour uh, bread we'll be able to do bread and popcorn, french fries, and stuff will be done in June. So that's cool. I like the way it's set up. That's about a nice. Lights off. Shut her down. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was our warehouse fiasco. Get the uh, milk truck back to Farmer Billy's house. We'll check on the uh, drill that's planting the winter wheat. Should be almost done by the time we get back. Nice little, uh, nice little outing there. I like that. Let's change the subject. When I was in band camp, says Kevin. Kevin's pulling away from Watchdog on ours. Watchdog can't do nothing about it. He's working now. He's busy. Uh, Orville, it's not the size of the fork, but the number of... Mandy really wants to know what's inside the cab of the truck. I'm not showing it. I try to keep things family, you know, somewhat family friendly. It is family friendly. I mean, this is a clean stream. Not much negativity or nasty things are said here so definitely not showing you what's inside that truck sorry am I all caught up on alerts I'm sorry I think I got everything going I think yeah Kevin Flores was the last one asking if I'm Amish you know what Oh, guess what? I bought me a new thing today. Don't laugh, chat. I just wanted to. I bought myself a little present. See? I don't know if you can see that. Viking Revolution. <laughs> There's the box. Beard, comb, and brush. <laughs> I'm just, I'm always like rubbing it during the day with my, my fingers. I'm like, I need like a brush. So, brush. So nice. It's got those little fine bristles. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, and I can throw it in my pocket. And it comes with a nice little travel bag. Look at that. And nice. Viking Revolution. And it came with a little little uh, comb brush trimmer thingy jingy. Look at this thing. It's, it's made out of wood. A wooden hand chiseled brush. Look at that. Isn't that thing sweet? It's pretty sweet. That's for trimming. I can do trimming. It came with a little pair of uh, Viking scissors. <laughs> Snippy snippy. <laughs> it's like eight dollars on Amazon. It's like that's cheap. I'll get it. Need something to brush my beard with. Is that truck from? Uh, nope. Did you pluck your nose hairs? No, I need to though. He's not gonna show anything inappropriate in the stream. <laughs> uh, Mike Stilts. What are you, Mikey? Get the lag bomb going for Mike Stilts. 
real truck driver in the house. Coming in there with that $20 super chat. I reckon, I reckon, I, I, I appreciate that, driver. How's the truck been running for you, buddy? I know you had a bunch of issues at the beginning. Is it starting to, everything smooth out? Everything's smoothing out. No more issues, I hope. Oh, milk truck goes to Farmer Billy. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Stilts, for the super chat. Appreciate you. Right. Good stuff. Our weather radar. Need one to brush the nose hairs? I know. I know. <clears throat> to you, I'm the duck. Ugh, I hope you're not the duck I'm thinking of. Uh, good, just got to replace the battery, says Mike Stilts. Oof, that's not cheap, though. You know what I haven't done all summer long because it costs too much is get new batteries for the golf cart. Like an arm and a leg and a left toe and a right nose hair to buy all new batteries for a golf cart. Ooh. I think we hired Tony McKinley. <laughs> Tony McKinley uh, drilled this field with winter wheat and it looks stinking gorgeous. I don't think he missed a spot. That looks real good, man. Nice. Good job, good job. He got the whole thing done. And still had 25% left over on uh, seeds and stuff. Old Johnny got dirty, though. Things filthy. Yeah, I'm glad I bought this cedar. This is nice. Good investment. Woo! Uh, that blue silo is really good for storing anything other side That silo back there holds two million liters so yeah farmer billy he's smart he knows how to take care of things the first time <clears throat> this thing is super dirty so the soybean fields i'm leaving those as is for now we're not gonna drill over those. Battery prices have gone up 30% over the last couple years due to how lithium is mined and the demand for EVs. It's ridiculous, it's crazy. So I just ride my bike everywhere. <laughs> I put that on my Amazon card, I need that, says Duan. Uh, the, the brush? Yeah, I got it from Amazon. It's like $8.98. Pretty cheap. Comes with the scissors, the comb, the brush. Not too bad. It's a good deal. It's not bad. Tony McKinley, that's not my kid. <laughs> Tony McKinley. Beautiful. Hang on. Got so much crap everywhere in the way. I'm ready to get the uh, Kinsey planter going, but we gotta wait till spring. You just hush. You got plenty of food, plenty of straw bedding. You watch your mouth.
Give me a Texas cowboy accent. Texas cowboy accent. I don't know if I can. I don't know. How, I don't know what that sounds like. <laughs> I don't know. Yep. It's a nice little uh, drill session. I didn't even barely have to do anything. I just hired a guy and left it and took care of it. leave that hooked up to it all right next up on the list chat is bailing hay bales to sell for profit because we already got a hundred thousand liters of hay in the mixer and I've got plenty of other grass fields to make more hay so we're gonna take advantage of uh, selling it tonight so let's go run over to the field. It's already raked into nice rows. All we got to do is bail it. Muchas gracias, senor. What do you say? Don't worry. That's what I'm building now. Big battery plant. There will be plenty of batteries for your little cars. Well, I need six batteries for a golf cart. And it's like 1300 bucks. And that's why I haven't bought them. <laughs> it's been... Uh, <laughs> the golf cart has been out of service since Christmas last year. When we got back from Ohio, it, it bit the dust. So, yeah. But we'll eventually get them. It's just one of those purchases you're like, eh, do you really need it? No. I don't need it. It's more of a want, so it's kind of on the back burner. All right. Drop that. Activate. And it's my guess some height bales, yeah? Yeah, let's do it, I. I think those make 11,000 liters, right? Nine. Okay, 9,000 liters. That's still real good. It's not bad. Basically, country accent that good. Does that sound like a Texas accent right there? How's that sound? I don't know. Welcome to Texas. So, bottom right corner, it does it in yards. Instead of liters, it does it by the yard. Which is kind of different. I'm not familiar with yards for uh, volume. So full bale is 11.8 yards. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I think I can switch that. Shift. You can do feet. Yard. Okay, yards or feet. What? What? Yeah, I don't understand that. I'm not familiar with that ratio. All right, we do need to finish raking this field. I only got like two swipes left. I should probably go do that. Get that finished first. Forgot I didn't finish it. The old D21 hooked up to the uh, wind rower here. Kind of 
Can I get an Oklahoma size tan four? There you go, tan four. No, that's like a Charleston accent, like molasses is coming out of your mouth. I could be like Fireslane. Mr. Fireslane talks like this. He's he's a hardcore South Carolinian. That's how he talks. How's that sound? You should be able to put it into pounds or tons. I think you need to do it in the menu or the XML. Well, it says uh, Shift R. I thought Shift. Well, I can't do it at the moment. Is there? Is it? I, I didn't even know there was a menu option. Or do I have to do it in the like the menu of the game? No. <laughs> Help window info. Money unit. Dollars. Measuring unit. Set the distance measuring units used in games. Miles. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything about it. I don't see any options. Additional settings, maybe? Nope. Yep, I don't think so. I don't know. What's that name? Doesn't look like I can, though. Is it oil or oral? <laughs> I say oil. It's the same accent I use when I try to be a country Texan, though. Definitely a keeper. Try to talk like Kevin Costner on Yellowstone. Um... This, <clears throat> this is America. We don't trade anything. We don't share anything. If you own it, it's yours. How's that sign? Kind of accents that right there. <laughs> I'm high. <laughs> I'm bailing me some high bales. You got a problem with that? You go walk somebody else. I'm making me some high bales. You better like it or you don't like it. All right. Don't let Kevin Flores trick you. He don't live in Texas. He lives in Maryland. He's a Maryland boy. Don't let him fool you. I don't stink it now. Well, you are now. Final swipes here. Old D twenty one. See if we can catch this corner here. That'll be good enough for me. But nice. I changed the wheels for uh, raking. I had big fatties on there. I put some uh, thin tires without the weights. Less weight on the smash in the grass, you know. All right, where were we? So yeah, it's set the yards, scooty pooty. Now liquids, I noticed it does gallons. And then it does bushels for the harvester, but for my baling, it's doing yards. 11.8 yards. <laughs> so maybe it is an XML change you gotta do. Tom Dutton is someone you don't want to mess with. Tom Dutton. Can you pull off a cowboy hat look? I used to wear a cowboy hat when I was little. 
when I lived in Ohio. I was like huge into country music when I was little, little. And I did have a black cowboy hat. And I wore that thing everywhere. I had cowboy boots, my cowboy hat, and I'd wear it with like pajama pants. And I'd ran around the house in it when I was little, pretending I was Garth Brooks and Tim McGraw. <laughs> I think on the Baylor, you want right shift plus to change the unit itself. Ooh. Right shift plus, eh? Oh, right shift plus. Yeah, that's what I've been hitting. It only it only changes it to feet <laughs> or yards. See how it's changing back and forth. I don't know, man. Scooty broke it. We'll blame it on Scooty. Or maybe it's this modded Baylor that's making it act funny. I don't know. Frosty said they're always there after my... Frosty said they're always after me lucky charms. I did not pretend to be Reba. You are full of it. That is the last singer I would pretend to be. So we don't own that field behind us, the sugar beet field. There were sugar beets there yesterday. And I haven't fast forwarded time. So somewhere in the last four in-game hours, the farmer that owns that field took care of his own sugar beets. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, Chris Gaines was me. It's cubic feet or cubic yards. Yep. It'd just be nice to have it in, uh, like, pounds. It doesn't matter to me. It's just a bale. What would Liz say? Elizabeth Sturdy, coming in with the five pounds, says, why don't you move that object that's inside your cab into your house? so that we can see inside your beautiful cap. Because I don't know how to do that. Whoever... Whoever edited that mod, I forget the name of the guy, but he doesn't like um, The Squad, which is a very well-known... Very, very well-known in the farm sim community. So he put something very nasty in the truck about The Farm Squad. And I'm not showing that. <laughs> it's disrespectful and rude, and I'm not doing it. Love this uh, music channel we got. We got 80s rock tonight. I always get a little excited for some 80s rock. But yeah, we'll sell all these. Need to figure out how I'm going to load these. Because I just have my little trailer. Might have to uh, see how many we can stick on the GMC little flatbed truck we have, maybe. Oh, no. Try right control plus right shift. Whoa! Let me pick some up first. Ah. That did it. Now it's tons. Cool. So now we have it set to tons.
That's cool. So control, right control, right shift, plus the uh, question mark. Pounds. All right, so that switches it over. So now we got tons. Now we got pounds. 892 pounds. That's cool. Good job, Scooty. Scooty coming in with the good information. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. When you don't know what to do, and Scooty Pooty tells you how. <laughs> All right, so one bale is 1,389 pounds of hay. I like that. Yeah, we're keep it, keeping it on pounds. That's cool. <clears throat> uh, Night Rider Gaming with all caps says, I wrote a note earlier, but I really don't want to go out that way. I don't know. Are you talking to me? I don't know what you mean. Are you okay? Is everything all right? You serious? That's some uh, that's some deep uh, that's some deep text you're putting in there, sir. What you talking about? Uh, Blake Matthews says I'm actually harvesting corn right now on the field next to that field with the 18 meter header. Makes harvesting so much easier. Well, I got the nine footer from uh, Pleasant View on the Gleaner tonight, and we knocked out the soybean. Uh, less than an hour over there, way out in the distance. It did a great job. Yeah, Night Rider Gaming. I don't know if you're being funny, if you're being serious. I don't know. I don't know. It's not something to be joking about. So if you're being serious, then please, uh, please go get some help, like ASAP. Yeah, I don't. Hopefully, you're not joking about it. That's like the last thing to be joking about. Do you still have the truck at the gas station? No, I sold it. I traded it in for the uh, Kenworth. I wasn't. It was too quiet. It wasn't loud enough. I like to be able to hear the truck. <clears throat> Thank you again, Elizabeth, for the five pounds. We also got Kevin Flores coming in here with the five dollar super chat. Says, "Hey, Frosty, how do you make University of South Carolina cookies? You put them in a bowl and beat for three hours." Didn't South Car didn't South Carolina go all the way last year? I don't follow football, but didn't they do real good? I feel like you're making fun of the wrong team there, sir. But I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't watch I don't watch football anymore. <laughs> uh yeah, that's dark text. I don't I don't know what, what I don't know. I just hope he's not joking, and at the same time I hope he's not serious. It's like I do hope he's joking, but it's not something that you joke about. It's not a joke, Frosty. I've been like that for years now. Well, you need you need to get some help, brother. If you really feel that way. If you're feeling that way, for real, then you don't need to be watching me right now commenting. You need to go get some help. All right? There's tons of resources to uh, go take care of yourself, buddy. Whether it's medication... I take medication to keep myself from going nuts because I get into deep depression swings. A lot of us, uh, a lot of us in the chat go through that. Uh, so if that's what you don't have and maybe you need it, get yourself scheduled and seen by a professional and maybe they can help you out, brother. And I do not like going to the doctor. I, com I hate it. I don't like taking pills. I don't like doing any of that crap. But sometimes you need it. Sometimes it's the difference between being a happy person. So don't be uh, putting it off like you're too good for it or you feel like it's not going to help. How do you know if you don't try it? Frosty got them likes just like a fancy Instagram influencer tonight. <laughs> the influencing was at the beginning of the show, right when we went live. That intro music. Ugh. I might just do that for every beginning of my every stream. And I don't think, it, I won't get copywritten, because Tom McDonald could care less. He's the opposite of most artists that are uh, not independent. So he, uh, he don't care. He's happy to have his uh, music spread, so. Yeah. 
shouldn't get hit with a copyright. Hopefully not. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's a good jam. Uh, we all know that Kevin heard that joke about the Cowboys originally. <laughs> yeah, he twisted it around, didn't he? Uh, 988 says Kevin. Do you still have the truck? No, I got rid of the truck. <clears throat> Hello, Sam. Sorry, I missed you, Sam. Scooter's workbench, you're, you're a champ, you know? That's the, that's the tough thing about farm sim. There's so many keybinds with different mods. It's so hard to remember what each one does. So I just added more to my brain capacity, which is kind of scary. So now I need to remember right control plus right shift plus question mark on the keyboard is what changes the pounds. Or we can do tons. Whew. This is too much to remember. Uh... Just too much to remember. All right, so it's 1,300 pounds of bale. Let's see how much it is in tons. Looks like it's going to be three quarters of a ton. Yeah. So about three quarters of a ton, 0 0.07 tons per bale. That's a heavy stinking bale right there. You can use my music with no copyright strike on your channel, but I'm no Tom McDonald. Uh, what Tom McDonald song was it? American Flags. It's it's one of the few that has no curse words in it. Uh, Doug Barber, thank you for the $5 super chat. What's he saying? He says, Frosty, what can you put in the small silo just outside the pig barn? I've tried everything with no luck. Oh, I haven't put anything in that yet. <clears throat> He's talking about this chat. This little guy right here. Supposedly, this is a feed silo. So, I don't know. I, I was thinking you can... Because here's what happens. I'll show you. Um, that's just test this out when you park under it with an empty it shows you what options there are and I guess that's the options you can put in it I mean that's what I'm guessing anyway eh. I don't know if we'll be able to get a hitbox yeah. oh I feel like the last time I checked, it was just the same stuff as a cow feed mixer, but I, I can't remember. I'm kind of with you. I haven't been able to figure it out either. Yeah, I think that song came out like la last Friday or the Friday before that. Can you take the boat out on the pond, says Jimmy. I've got too much farming to do right now. You're just going to have to wait, mate. All right? Just going to be patient. Mac Morrison, you still here? Have you used that little silo outside the pig pen? I haven't. Otherwise, I'd try to help out. I don't know. <laughs> right shift, change unit, right control shift, switches volume to weight, or vice versa. For bales, I definitely would like to keep it at pounds. That's pretty cool. swipe mm -hmm. 
Man, I missed a lot of pieces, didn't I? Sloppy Baylor. Did you add a manure heap storage to get manure from your cows? I have not. Uh, once the, I, I'm gonna see how fast it produces once I get the pigs up and running more. Like once we have more of them and they start producing more. Hopefully they uh, bring in a lot more manure in the next coming months. Uh, thank you, Doug Barber. I'm sorry I couldn't help much. What'd Max say? Nope, got rid of them first thing. Oh, you got rid of it? <laughs> you can put pig feed in there. Okay, but can you put ingredients to make pig feed or just pig feed alone? Yes, you can take the boat out. Frosty did see the first stream of this map. Did you add a manure? Have a good night. Midwest Farmer, have a great one, buddy. Thank you again for uh, becoming a member tonight. Appreciate you, buddy. You have a swell evening, you hear? Frosty and chat, unfortunately, I have to go to bed early tonight. Love you guys. Be good to yourselves. Ian Oppenheim, sleep well. Thanks for hanging out, sir. Most likely will be a Friday night stream. Not 100% sure what I'll be playing, but we'll be back. Probably around our normal 8.30 time. Next week, just a heads up, Tuesday, there may not be a stream. My daughter has her first volleyball game Tuesday night. And I'm watching it, of course. And then I signed up to do concession stands for the JV game after, because I know she'll want to watch that too. So probably not going to be home in time to do a stream Tuesday night. Just a heads up. For those of you that actually give a rats. <laughs> All right, final swipe. Oh, 99%. Come on, buddy. There's got to be enough here to poop one more bail out. Come on. Oh, my goodness. I have 99% in here, chat. I just need a little smidgen. Oh, there's a chunk. Be enough. I think we picked everything up, dang it. A couple little strips right here. Ah, <laughs> jeez. Little chunk right up here. If that's not enough, then we are not going to have enough to make a bale. That should be enough. What? Are you kidding me, mate? What? All right, yeah, we're not going to have enough. Son of a biscuit. 13,087 pounds. We're at 99%. That's all right. It'll poop out one next time. The show that you have a whole bunch of them, says Tony. Okay, this show that you have and a bunch of them. Huh? Oh, corn kernels? That's just like watch time points that people earn, I think. I think it also goes towards your super chats, uh, gifted memberships. I don't, I don't remember. It's something on st uh, Streamlabs I set up. <clears throat> There's a lot of bales out here. Nine thousand. Oh, I forgot to reset my counter. Dang it! I could have told you exactly how many. Two, four, six, eight, and twelve. There's about fourteen, fifteen bales out there. Vada nice.
Get this stuff brought back to the house. I miss some on the back. Well, you know what? It's too late now. Set to find next time. I don't know. I don't know where they might. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is still one of my all-time favorite tractors. It's such a good one. Man, it's a good old international. Love it. Super detailed, just enough power to do almost any job on a medium-sized farm. Got to be one of my, like, top five tractors on farm sim. Cody Landon has 28 kernels. Woo, baby, you got some kernels to collect there, Papa. Getting a little low on kernels, I say. Uh, I don't know about that, but I know you can put pig feed only. Okay, so just straight up pig feed you could store in there. So, yeah, I probably won't be using that much either. Because I never have pig feed. We are about to wrap things up for the night chat. Uh, we'll get those bales loaded up maybe and uh, sell them. And I'll probably do it. To probably do it. I wonder if my flatbed hauls. No. We might have to lease. <laughs> ah, dang it. Yeah, we might have to lease one. I don't know. As far as flatbed, yeah, this is the only thing I have. I can only load four at a time. I ain't doing that. Plus, I want to sell them. Let's check out my flatbeds here. So, it's not saying anything about bales. The flatbed that I own. So yeah, we'll have to uh, let's spawn. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how to do this. Bale trailers. Love this old trailer. I don't know if it'll pick that up. Should. Let's have a nice beat up trailer, huh? Wonder how many bales it can hold though. <laughs> that thing's looking rough. <laughs> Um, old wood floor, add hay. Oh, that's cool. We can put like hay splatter on there. <laughs> Creel options. 
Trio one, get both. Yeah, we'll get both on each side. What kind of wheels we got. Stick some old thin wheels on there, I guess. Nah, we'll put the uh, Michelin's toolbox options. Put a, one, a little one under there. Because <laughs> this thing looks like it might not last too long, huh? All right, we got enough money to buy that outright. Come on, we'll just buy that bad boy. wonder if the Silverado can uh, pull it. Uh oh, where's the last place I put a. Ah, uh, crap. I know how to fix that. I think I parked it over at the warehouse by accident. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we spawned it. Yep, we spawned it way at the warehouse. <clears throat> Reset it. Oh, uh, awesome shit. Thank you, mouse. I'm not done quite yet. Almost. We're going to load this up with the pickup truck, go get the bales, and then we'll, then we'll be done. So we got, we got a little time left. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Perfect, mate. Because I didn't really want to spend a ton of money on a, a fancy trailer. So we're sitting at 20 grand. This is the one I gotta stop. Did I forget to set it up? Auto load bales. I forgot to activate it to auto load bales. There we go. That's an additional $2,000. Operating position. All right, this bale is not supported. All right, so uh, scratch that idea. We're gonna go grab the big truck. Hang it. It's just not gonna work. That's because that baler is a custom baler. So it makes different type of bales. And that trailer doesn't support it. So we'll just, plus we got too many bales. We'll just go grab the Great Dane flatbed. And we'll load them up with my uh, wheel loader I have at the farm. And that'll be that. We better not run there. How am I doing this fine evening? I'm doing good, Tom. Durr? What are you, who are you durring? Frosty, have you seen the show How I Met Your Mother? No. Really cool map. What is it called, Frosty? Is it on the Mod Hub? It's called The White Farm. And it is cross-platform.
Fire up the Kenworth again. <clears throat> King of Queens? Yeah, that was a good one. I did like that. Truck could use a little horsepower tune up, but good enough for this little map. I think I went with the smaller engine, and I see it's very slow. <laughs> Love everybody loves Raymond, another classic. Definitely. Very good. Very good. There's lots of bale trailers we could have used, but this will work fine. And you never know, this might stink and this might load up the bales. I'm gonna try it before I manually do it. You never know, we might get lucky. But I think this trailer is only set up for pallets for auto load. Let's see what happens. Yeah. No, not going to happen. And that is just fine. Go for a little drive. Hello, Eclipse. Also, sign. And I was. I was never was a sign for failed fan. That's that's for a different crowd. A lot of people love it. I that wasn't for me. I just didn't. I, I don't know. It was a type of humor I just didn't get. Didn't make me laugh. It was more of a painful show to watch for me. But loved King of Queens. That was a good one. That's your top five. That's that would never be on my leaderboard anywhere. <laughs> Same with uh, Frasier. Ugh. That was painful for me to watch. Frasier and Seinfeld. I was like, Ugh. no, thank you. It'll be okay. I don't need to watch that no more. Can this handle two bales? It's not the type of fork to do that, but we're gonna try. That is, that's gonna be about 2,800 pounds if I can hold two of them. Oh, yeah, it'll work. <laughs> Yep, 2,778 pounds of hay. Frazier was... I See, you like all those boring ones, don't you? Without Kramer, Seinfeld would be trash. Yeah. Yeah, but Seinfeld himself just never did much for me. Like, I just didn't find him very funny. I don't know. That was just my opinion. It showed an option to change auto load type. Does it cycle through pallets and bags? Ooh. Did it? I wasn't even paying attention. Good catch there, Johnny boy. I'm getting tired, so I probably didn't notice. Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Fluid tank, big bag pallet, big bad Euro pallets, double length barrel. 
Euro. Prefab. Large wood. Doghouse. Metal. Yarrow. Okay, no. No, no bales. Does everything else, though. Everything else. These are pretty chubby, too. I don't know if we can do... I think I'm just going to run them down the center of the trailer. really want to get fancy. I don't know if this thing will be able to lift that high. We could try. Yeah, I don't know if it can lift that high. Test it out. We're going to need it too if we want to try to fit all these on here. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of miles. Might be a little offset. down the middle right there. That is beer silo like a pro. I'll tell you what. Hey, what? Still younger than the Kevin Flores. He's bland, says Tom. Seinfeld. Yeah, there's just something about him. I don't know. I loved Kevin Arnold. The Wonder Years. I was a huge fan of that show. I watched the crap out of that. That was one of my favorites. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. Precision and patience. Lifting 1,300 pounds like it's nothing, huh? Too shabby, laddie. We need like a telehandler, <clears throat> something that gets a little higher. So that's cool. 
So 6,900 pounds of hay on the back of the trailer at the moment. Ooh, she's a little, she's flopping back and forth a little bit. Have a good night, you too, Thomas Roger. Just like uh, you, just like Winnie Cooper, like the yeah, Winnie Cooper. And everybody, I remember everybody thought uh, Paul was Marilyn Manson, but he's not. <laughs> uh, let's see. I felt the same way, Frosty, but then I rewatched it when I was older and felt like I could relate. Which which show? Seinfeld? So you're saying it's for older men to watch? Because <laughs> as a younger guy, ugh, I just didn't enjoy it. Come on. I think these this fork attachment's kind of weird, too. Not like a plane was going by. Let's try to pick it up as low as we can. There we go. I didn't, last time I didn't strap the outward bail. That makes a huge difference. There we go. And if you watch in an order, it somewhat has a storyline, does it? Oh, Seinfeld does, very nice. Boy Meets World, yeah, Topanga. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. There's a question for you. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite, Winnie Cooper or Topanga? Huh? Be honest with yourself. That is a really nice loading job, if I say so myself. It's quite, quite fresh. Definitely this attachment is acting funny. Chat, I'm whipped. I'm not even kidding. I'm tired. I don't think I feel like doing the rest of those. I think I'll save that for the uh, beginning of the next episode of this series. Uh, I'm pretty whipped, guys. Yeah, that's going to take me who knows how long to get the rest on there. But uh, I think we can fit one, two, three, four more. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to have one, two, three leftovers. I think the leftovers I'll probably keep to uh, 
maybe occasionally feed the horses or just put in the uh, storage barn. But yeah, I'll save that. I'll save that for uh, the next episode. <sighs> wow. 12,500 pounds of hay on the back of that flatbed right there. Don't leave that thing sitting right there. That looks pretty good, too. Looks very nice. But uh, I do appreciate everybody hanging out on the stream tonight. We did break 200 reactions. Thank you for that. Uh, that silo next to the pig says it holds everything. When I drive a trailer under it, it lists all kinds of stuff that could be available. That's what I thought. And straw, pig food, hay, whole crop, silage, TMR, whole crop, grass conditioned. Yeah, I haven't really messed with it yet, so. Uh, good night, Brian Santor. Peace out, brother. <clears throat> uh, Kevin Flores with the 20 bomb says, what's better, Simpsons or Family Guy? I've never really watched Family Guy, but I, I did watch a lot of Simpsons growing up, so I'd probably go Simpsons because... That's what I've watched. Uh, do you remember when Saturday mornings had to set the alarm for all day entertainment? Yeah, but I was usually outside. <laughs> but I was more of a TJIF guy. Like Fridays, if there wasn't anything going on, I'd watch all those Friday night shows. What was it like? Step by Step, Family Matters, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. There was all kinds of them on Friday night. I remember binging those when there was nothing else to do. <clears throat> um, and then the Sunday paper comics my generation had typewriters I remember first grade well actually first through third grade I would uh, use a typewriter anytime I did like a book report <laughs> yeah the TJIF lineup was good there was all kinds of good stuff yeah I remember my I remember I had a typewriter. My dad gave me one for uh, doing school projects when I was like in middle school. I remember that. Thank you, Scooty's Workbench. A lot of editing. Thank you. The editing was on par. Uh, maybe we'll leave with the same song we uh, ended with. How's that sound? <laughs> but uh, thank you so much, guys. I had a blast. Love this map. I might do it again tomorrow. I don't care. I like it. And if you like it, that's great. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, thank you so much for the 20, Kevin. Uh, Doug Barber with the Super Chats. Beetle Betts. Mike Stiltz. Thank you uh, all who threw support towards the stream tonight, along with everyone that hit that like button. You guys rock. Thank you for making the stream a success. All right. Let's see here. Bow, 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 bow. I've been watching uh, clips of Charlie Woods, Tiger Woods' son. I think I told you guys about that. Man, he's good. That little guy can golf. He's gonna be something crazy in the when he gets older. He'll be a uh, he'll be the next big thing for uh, the PGA. He is a beast. Do -do -do. What do you think, chat? Episode six? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I'm in the mood for tomorrow. Oh, man. All right, chat. I'm sending you out with uh, American flags again. How's that sound? Here we go. My people of this country and we're under attack. Show the cab for one. Nope, I ain't showing you. Alright, chat. Have a good one, guys. That is the end.
me down anywhere, dog. You think that you suck? My patriots the craziest. They ain't afraid of breaking fists on faces. If you really want a taste of this, no safety tip. The same mistake and spray the clip. I pray you miss, cause if you don't, they gon' go wacko. Automatic gun smoke like tobacco. Never hit a lady, but it's pretty hard to tell if you're a girl or a they them. There's these that goes. I ain't never gonna take a knee for the anthem. Smack them. I don't give a damn, can't stand them. Gang full of randoms. Fan with a handgun. Run up in your mansion, leave it all abandoned. I was raised to be brave to the grave. United States, we love the country that they've been corrupting. Go woke and go broke. You ain't awake. My people of this country and we're under attack. They ban us, they cancel us for speaking the facts. If you man enough, come stand with us, take USA back. And every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flags. Turning fabric to ash But every time we pull up All you're gonna see 